For more than 60 years, Chicago's unique tradition has a lot of people seeing green. And it's not just the sea of bagpipers, people in costumes, or politicians decked in their sashes to celebrate Irish heritage. It also includes thousands who gathered to watch the mile-long Chicago River turn bright, bright green. Like, the spring is coming, so it's, it's good to see this green. About 40 pounds of green dye are dumped into the river. Some boats spray, while others mix to get the color just right. It looks like light green. It looks like what green? Light green. Light green. Electric green. I like that. I think first thing that comes to mind, the, the Sprite cans. The well-loved tradition was started by plumbers in the 60s by the Chicago Journeyman's Plumbers Local Union. The dye was initially used to detect leaky pipes and pollution. But when the union head, Stephen Bailey, noticed the color on the plumber's white overalls as the perfect shade of shamrock, the idea to greenify the river was born. Just amazing. No words to say how I'm feeling now. It's beautiful. Thousands of people from around the world and the country flocked to the Windy City for this very event. We continue to come back every year, so this is a... Uh... Generation number three. While the ingredients of the emerald dye remain a secret, the union says it is vegetable based and safe. But environmental group, the Friends of the Chicago River, pushed back on that response because of the lack of transparency. In a statement, they said there is no way to know what the dye is or whether it is harmless. They stress that the river is a living ecosystem, not a sewer system as it had been in the past. So I hope someone took the time to investigate if it's doing any harm to our rivers and lakes. The Shannon Rovers! For now, there's no stopping this tradition. While Chicago is the first to dye its water green, other cities have followed suit, like Savannah, Georgia's Fountain and San Antonio's Riverwalk. Still, Chicago prides itself for being the original and most famous. Chicago is the one of the, the top cities in my list, you know, so, and this is amazing. The union says the green dye will flow to the Mississippi River, then the Gulf, and eventually to the Atlantic Ocean, creating a green path from Chicago to Ireland. Pat Sandoval, Scripps News, Chicago.